Welcome to the Chef Authorized Studio. Now listen, this is new to my YouTube, but we are going to start doing more videos like this. So listen, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm telling you, you're not gonna wanna miss out. We got some juicy topics today and I'm gonna jump right in. I don't wanna waste your time. 2022, do I think culinary school is worth it if you're an upcoming chef or if you're in high school looking to go to culinary school? So as a professionally trained chef, 20 plus years experience, do I think culinary school is worth it in 2022? I made a video about 2021. I'm gonna leave the link right here. Please go check it out. My answer is no. I do not think culinary school is worth it in 2022. And now let me explain. And I'm also gonna preface this by saying, everybody's situation is different. Let's assume that you are coming out of high school and your parents are not going to pay for your student loans and you're also not in the military. Here's the thing, and I'm just gonna be very blunt. The restaurant industry is in distress right now. <laughs> And I'm not laughing because a lot of people are affected. A lot of restaurants shut down. The workforce is completely missing. Okay, so to hire regular workers as far as dishwashers, line cooks, prep cooks, it's very difficult right now. Everybody has had to shrink down and pivot and do other things to try to keep their business and restaurant afloat. You can walk into any restaurant, especially here in San Francisco, everybody's understaffed. So it is the prime opportunity for you to gain experience. Whereas when I was growing up in the industry, it was kind of hard. You had to have experience. A lot of people weren't hiring and the story goes on. But nowadays I see line cooks do not have management experience getting promoted to sous chef. I see sous chefs getting promoted to executive chef and chef de cuisine. Literally the keys, the ownership is handing keys to the restaurant and say, please just run it. I see this, this is happening right now. Delivery service for food is blowing up before it wasn't. COVID has changed that, so keep that in mind. What I'm getting at is you do not need to pay the money to go to culinary school to get experience. I know that is an open-ended, it's like a freaking can of worms. I'm gonna be frank and say, the return on investment for what you pay for culinary school, for what you get back in your placement, there's it's non-existent. A lot of people, they think that just because they go to culinary school, that makes them a chef. No, it does not. Sorry to burst your bubble, okay? Matter of fact, when you come out of culinary school, you are still entry level, okay? Entry level. A lot of people think they get a basic set of skills and blah, 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 but I'm gonna be honest and tell you the things you learn at culinary school nowadays are kind of irrelevant unless you're doing baking and pastry or you're focused on management. I'm gonna be honest, baking and pastry is a good thing to learn. It, it takes a lot of time and effort, but to be a cook, I'm gonna uh, strongly deny that. <laughs> The other thing I don't agree with, and I'll touch base on this and I'll circle back. I hate the fact that the government will, and I don't know who said this, but I, I, I grabbed it and uh, I'll credit if I remember who said this, but you can take out a $150,000, $200,000 student loan when you're 18 years old. You can do this, 18 to 21, with nobody co-signing but you can't take out $10,000 to start your own business. That doesn't make any mother sense to me. It doesn't. It is absolutely ridiculous. They, student loans are absolutely ridiculous. Keep this in mind. When you're coming out of high school and you are young and you're chipper and you wanna jump right into the biz and you think, oh my God, I need to go to culinary school, you need to know the price and what you're gonna pay for the rest of your life, okay? I am 36 years old. I've been in the industry for 20 plus years. I am still making payments on my culinary school because when I went to culinary school, I was broke. And yes, I've had every opportunity to pay them off, but what I realized is it's just not worth it. My interest is so low. I just kept getting them refinanced and deferred and forbearance because I couldn't make it. I decided to go the Michelin route where I took a lower pay to gain the experience. I was able to propel myself in the culinary game and it was the best decision I ever made. But in turn, it hurt me because now students that have 80 to $90,000 to $100,000 in student loan debt. You come out of culinary school and you're making minimum wage. You are making <laughs> nothing. And so you're forced to get a high paying cook job. Now these cook jobs are like at hotels or big catering companies or 
corporate. And now there's nothing wrong with that if that's the route that you want to go, but you don't want to start out there. If you want to own a restaurant, you want to work for a chef driven restaurant group, bottom line. So now to take it back, if you're in high school right now and you're about to, and you're making a decision on what to do for college. And, and here's the thing, my parents, you know, the same thing. College is a must. College is a must. I'm here to tell you, no, it's not. Okay. Cooking is a trade. It's a craft. Okay. You're better off going to a few chef driven restaurants over the course of the four years you would be in culinary school, spend six months to a year at one, or even just six months. Six months is acceptable. Trust me, most restaurants will take you. Now, with that being said, let's talk about other avenues of being a chef. So what does chef mean? Chef means you run a restaurant, you're the head honcho, you take care of the labor, the scheduling, the overall operations of the actual restaurant, right? Not everybody wants to be a chef. Okay. There's plenty of things to do. You can become a private chef. You can be a catering chef. You can be a hotel chef. You can be a corporate chef. You can be a yacht chef. If you just want to be a chef on the internet, meaning create food content, then please, for the love of God, don't waste your time. Just start cooking, start creating videos. Trust me, the TikTok comments will murder you <laughs> and they'll tell you everything you're not doing right. But I think that's really important to take in consideration. I think content creation in home cooks and chefs, this is actually a job now. This is a career. People are taking it seriously. Okay. The people that aren't taking it seriously, you're missing out. I charge a lot for a 60 second video and it's a good wage. So anyway, that's another story. What you need to do is just start creating videos and get better at your video skills, your editing skills, and your workflow of creating content in your house or your home or your kitchen or whatever, and start. That's what you need to do. If you want to be a chef in a restaurant or a catering chef or a banquet chef, or it depends on what type of chef you want to be. And this took me years to figure out. So don't feel rushed. You're going to want to try to get a job in a restaurant first, any level, just get your foot in the door and make it clear to your manager that you want to be a chef. That's what you want to do. But let's go back to like, if you're in the military or if you're changing careers or your parents are wealthy and, and are footing your bill for school, by all means, take your three, four year vacation. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. You have to be realistic with yourself. What can you afford? Let's say you have your heart set on culinary school. You wanna go, you wanna network and you wanna meet other chefs. Then listen, do you. But what I would recommend is try to go to a tech school or a local school that has a culinary program. It's not gonna be as good as a reputable culinary school like CIA or Johnson and Wales that has a culinary program, a very strong culinary program. But guess what? It's gonna give you the basics you need. And let me tell you why. I was so frustrated. Now that I am a chef, I've worked my way up. My work experience is the first thing on my resume, not my school. My school is all the way down at the bottom. When I was growing up, it was very important to go to culinary school, but nowadays it's irrelevant. They don't even ask. And matter of fact, I've looked at hundreds of resumes at all levels. I don't care about school. But you know what I care about? I care about the last job and if you got promoted or not. That's what's more important, but that's another video. So going back, if you are changing careers, all right, and you think that you just need to foot $26,000, $30,000 30, for culinary school, what I recommend that you do to see if you like it, if you want to become a chef, keep your day job. And then on the weekends, work at a restaurant, any level, bus boy, server, bus girl, bartender, any level, get your foot in the door and try to get a position in the kitchen, okay? That is what I recommend because you want, you need to see if you like it, if it's something that you want to pursue. Also another route to go. And I know people hate on this, but online courses, online courses are very fruitful. Listen, I am a trained chef and I still take online courses so I can be sharp. Just recently, I took a one-on-one -on -one mentorship for panettone bread. It was so beneficial to me. I got the information I needed and it was very very helpful. That's not to say that those courses are going to make you a chef, but the information that is out there is very good. It's definitely worth it. If you have a culinary instructor that's giving a course, or if you have a chef that is giving a master class, this is worth it. It's worth it. The hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks is way worth it. The return on investment for that is ROI positive. I should say. Next category, and we're going to wrap this up here, military. If the government is paying for your student loans, honestly, it's up to you what you want to do. I will 
play devil's avocado here and say that you do not need culinary school to start in the kitchen. I think what's really important is taking consideration, especially chefs like me. If I see military on your resume, I like that. I perk up. Military means you can follow direction very well. We love that in the kitchen. So the biggest thing for anybody out there is if you don't know where to start and you don't know what to do, what I recommend is find the restaurant that you would want to eat at with the best food that is chef driven. Go eat there. And as you're enjoying your meal, leave your email or ask if you can be introduced to the chef or if you can see the chef. He might be busy, they might say no. But I'll tell you what, eight times out of 10, I've always had success with introducing myself when I was eating dinner or taking a kitchen tour and just kind of crossing paths. And I know that sounds crazy and very intimidating, but it's worth it. Next, for all my youngins out there, this is very important and I'll leave with this. Do not offer to work for free. Do not offer to stage, okay? Staging, for anybody that doesn't know, is basically you go and work for, at a restaurant for free or it's like an externship or an internship. It's not a bad thing. Like if somebody's offering to do it, but you're not gonna learn as much as you would if you were a paid employee. And let me explain. If you're a paid employee, then you will be held accountable. You will be asked to do a job and you need to do that job. When you're an extern or you're a freebie, you kind of get the tasks that are, there's no thinking required, if you know what I mean. Picking herbs, cleaning, doing this, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. Not to say that's a bad thing, but you're gonna spend a lot of time doing things that don't require any learning. And that's why I always recommend if you're brand new in the Kitchen, don't really offer to work for free. Offer to work at their wage and it might suck, but it's it's definitely worth it to be held accountable because that's what you need. For the first three to five years of your career, it's building your resume. Build your resume to be rock solid for the future, okay? Culinary school is not worth it in 2022. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Tell me what you think. I'd love to talk about how COVID has affected the restaurant business. Now this, I know this is gonna be a kind of a long little rant video. We're gonna move on here. So thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and listen, hit the post notification so you never miss another video. And let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about next. Let's go.